What's going on YouTube family? It's your boy Khalil Clash back again with another video. And you know how we do things over here. I gotta ask, how y'all doing? I hope y'all doing well. Peace and love. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Now, before we get into the video, I do wanna say this. Happy New Year. This is the first video that I made this year and it is definitely more to come. I am extremely motivated this year and I hope you guys are too. And to all of the new subscribers that came from either my last video or videos before that, welcome to this small corner of YouTube. Um, welcome to the family. It, it is truly a blessing to have y'all with me. Um, I'm hoping y'all here to catch a vibe, get to know me a little bit more. And look, I respond to mainly all my comments, so I'm hoping to get to know y'all as well. And this is the positive side of YouTube. Please don't bring any negative energy over here because we don't need it. This world is already crazy as it is. Now, I do want to say this just because I'm a man of quality instead of quantity. I want to give you guys quality YouTube videos. So that might take a little uh, just because it's not my full time job. But I do say this. I am way more consistent on the other social media platforms like Instagram and TikTok. Like currently your boy is, I believe, two followers away uh, from hitting 10K on TikTok. So if you want to see me more I'm on a consistent level, please go follow me on TikTok and Instagram. I make content all the time just because it's easier and it's faster. You know how we are in 2023. Our attention span is trash. <laughs> now let's get into why you guys came to this video. Listen, this shoe means a lot to me only because it meets every checkpoint. Um, number one, if you know me from my past videos, you know I like minimal colors. Um, I like being able to buy certain things at an affordable price. And then not to mention, this shoe came out on my birth year, which is 1997. And if that didn't give it away, the shoe we're talking about is the Air Max 97 Silver Bullet. Now, I had the Air Max 97 Silver Bullet in 2017 when it released. I couldn't pass it up. Like, look at this shoe, man. It's perfect. I'm talking about the structure, the design, and just the overall 90s feel that it gives. Now listen, I'm a big fan of the 90s, and I'm also a big fan of just overall retro items and things. Now listen, I know I was born in 97, so I was super young in the 90s to even remember what was going on. But from the movies, the music, and the overall conversation that I had with people in the 90s, it just seemed like a great era to live in. So when Nike said, you know what? In 2017, for the 20th year anniversary of this shoe, we're going to release it. And I couldn't pass up on it. Not to mention at that time I was working in a store. So when they came out with this shoe, I immediately had to grab it. It just met all checkpoints for me. This shoe is the same age as me. How could I, why would I pass up on this? Why, why? So when I heard for the 25th year that they were dropping it again, seriously guys, come on, come on, come on. Every time they drop this shoe, I will have it. This is my, this is probably besides my Nike by use, this is probably my favorite shoe of all time. I, I don't think there's any shoe beating this at this point. Now, if anyone cares, I would like to do a quick comparison of the 2017 pair and the 2022. Oh, I wish I could do a comparison from the 1997 pair and the 2017 pair and the 20, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna create a time machine. Go back in time and tell my mother to cop a size 10 and a half and hold it. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Mm -hmm. But since I can't do that right now, um, let's just go ahead and compare the two. The first thing I wanna throw out there, I don't know if you can tell in the camera, but the lace. In the 2017 pair, the lace, the hue on this lace almost seems purple. Um, whereas though with this one, it actually matches the silhouette of the shoe, which what I would assume to be silver, but I'll, for now, I'll just say gray. Now, for some, you might not care this uh, this much about it, but um, from the looks of it, and it might be and it might be written in the description. I don't go that far into reading it. I still like the shoe. I'm still going to cop it. So I didn't really care to do my research 
on this part but um it looks like in the 2017 pair the air bubble is slightly bigger than the 2022 pair and i don't know you know if you decide to run or walk in these if that makes a difference to you but um yeah the 2017 air bubble definitely does look a lot bigger than the 2022 if not a lot probably slightly bigger now you might notice in my 2017 pair it is slightly smaller than my 2022 pair and that is because well the 2017 pair is a size 10 and the 2022 pair is a size 10 and a half now i learned my lesson being that the 2017 pair was my first air max 97 to uh go up a half size in my air maxes i do the same thing for my 95s uh air max 90s when i had a pair i went up a half size it just feels better for me as far as comfort and walking all day um so yeah if you ever decide to get an air max i suggest trying it on so you know exactly what size to get oh yeah one more comparison the box as you can see in the 2017 pair they went with that orange and white nike nike box whereas though the 2022 pair this almost looks like a jordan 12 box but yeah this is the new new box for this shoe and i actually like it i really do it's really simple get a little bit of that orange and yeah that's the new box so y'all know how we do things on this channel. We go ahead and style the sneaker. So let's get into those outfits. I hope you guys enjoyed this video on the Air Max 97 Silver Bullet and to be specific, the 2022 pair. Um, yeah, man, this is really my favorite shoe of all time. We're the same age, it just screams the 90s, and it's a retro Air Max. And I, I really do love this shoe. So if you wanna join the family, make sure y'all subscribe, like, if you want to. I'm not gonna force you to do anything. I can't force you to do anything. And y'all know how we do things over here. Peace and love. Live on. Zero regrets. I'm out. Peace.